Come up here for a minute. I want uh, I want people to to know you guys. Come on over here. They probably already, they probably already know this guy. <laughs> if you ever watch uh, OCR, it's uh, which one are we at right now? Don't worry. You're on all of them. You're on all of them. <laughs> You're on all of them. Because focus needs to be number one. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is C wait, wait, is this uh, CNN and MSNBC? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, our current reality is a street ministry located in New Jersey. And they're out street preaching all the time. Um, it has not been an easy ministry. But they, have, they are true soldiers for Christ. Um, Yokus has been to jail a couple of times for preaching. They've preached to every religion from Jewish to black Muslims to everything, okay? And he keeps his cool. He's out there and um, he keeps it straight forward. He keeps it about Jesus. And, um, you know, his wife is a little feisty sometimes, but when you mess with my man. <laughs> so when the police come over and they're about to, you know, they're talking crazy to Yokas, then she like, hey, you better watch what you talking about. So, <laughs> but she's growing in Christ, too. <laughs> so um, but we wanted to honor them tonight because they're here from New Jersey and we want to make sure that we honored them and the best way i thought to honor him would be to let him know that he's, he knows he's already a part of our ministry but so i want to just say this um this certifies an ordination as minister uh, of evangelism or, or evangelist uh this certifies that yoke is say your last name how you say your last name Bots, bots. You don't even know how to say your own last name, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, Yokis Bozzarelli. Because I mean, yeah, Bozzarelli. Because he told me his name once, but I was like, that's an Italian name. But so I just saw, hey, Yokis, how you doing? But I never say his last name, Bozzarelli. Okay, that Yokis Bozzarelli. Ooh. There you go. Anyone wear No, no, no. Okay. Uh, their home base is in New Jersey, but uh, uh, but basically, you know, they're part of S4C. So if you get a chance, watch. And it says, as one, as, uh, one who has evidence of the calling of God and is hereby ordained as a minister and evangelist of the gospel of Jesus Christ, licensed by soldiers for Christ Global Community Church, on this day, May 4th, May 4th, 2022. And so there's yours. Yeah. <laughs> and. It's like heavy. Shana. Is, did I say it right? No. Shana. 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 Okay. <laughs> Shana Bossarelli. <laughs> And uh, we just certify her ordination as a minister um, and evangelist. Uh, this certifies that Shannon Bassarelli, I did that good, um, home based in New Jersey, but members of Soldiers for Christ, as one who has given ev evidence of the calling by God and hereby ordained as minister to evangelize the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, licensed by the Soldiers for Christ Community Church here in the United States on May 4th, 2022. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. I want you to say a couple of things. Uh, yeah, uh, and not, don't give a whole speech. I, this, you're not on the street now. <laughs> he goes, because you know, he on the street, he can go. <laughs> um, how you, how you do this? No, just, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just hold it, you know? Yeah, you can hold it on. I'll just put it right there. You'll be fine. <clears throat> Okay, so I got a couple of things I would like to say here. Uh oh, he's got that stuff written down. Um, first, <laughs> give thanks. Uh, I would like to give thanks to everyone out there. Uh, <laughs> let me just bring this over a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I watch Pastor Sandy on, on live stream and his, his microphone will be all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to give thanks to everyone here for praying for me. Pastor Ben, uh, Ryan. Minister Ryan, 
Thank you. Abigail. Abigail. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate. And some people who are already watching right now, they, you are, you guys already know me as well. You watch some of my videos. But I would like to give thanks to Pastor Sandy for allowing me to speak here and praying for me. Pastor Ben, watch you every Sunday. Okay. So <clears throat> this is my background real quick. Um, I've been doing street ministry for, uh, say, around like five years, uh, six. And um, the Lord discipled me. Uh, the Holy Spirit discipled me uh, before I was called to be a watchman. I am a watchman. And um, what I do is I go to warn people through three, uh, different cities and towns. Um, the Lord has tasked me to do. I go across the state. I go to different states and I do that. Um, now, I'm going to skip a, another thing. It was the history of OCR. But we first started as a radio station. And then God called us to warn the people in the state of New Jersey, uh, Delaware, Maryland, and Massachusetts. Um, so for those who want to know what Yokus stands for, it stands for uh, breaking the yoke of people who are in bondage to sin. And this is, this, this, actually, this, recently the Lord gave me the meeting to my name. I didn't even know what my name was, what it stood for, what Yokus stood for. Until a man came to me, this is about a couple of weeks ago, a man came to me because I was asking God, I was like, what is the meaning of my name? And people would come to me and say, well, what does your name stand for? And I would say, I don't know. I'm waiting for God to tell me. And the Lord told me uh, through this man that came to me, he said, you're breaking the yoke. God sent you to break the yoke of bondage. So that's what my name stands for. Um, I also want to speak to Jersey girl. Mm -hmm. Susan? Susan, please reach out. If you are watching this, I've been to where you are in your town, and I was actually trying to find her, and I couldn't find her. We went there and preached the word of God, anyways. I'm not going to say where it's at on live stream, but mm -hmm. that's that. But please reach out to us. Um, we would love to meet with you. We would love to meet with you and give you a report about your town because there's a lot of spiritual wickedness going on there. She knows. <laughs> yes I dealt with the police over there and they've been tracking me ever since let's just say it like that so I just wanted I just want to say two more things um, first I want to give a report to the soldiers for Christ um, the front lines are terrible right now um, I feel like I'm about to cry because <sighs> no I'm not gonna cry I'm gonna be strong um, <sighs> There's not enough people out there preaching. Now recently, I'm, I'm having people come to me telling me they fell out of love with Jesus. I got different people coming to me telling me they no longer believe in Jesus. And this has become difficult for me to, to manage. And there's not enough people out there preaching. I have people come up to me telling me, well, I've never seen nobody preach the gospel before. It's the first time. Uh, no one's come to my town to preach the gospel. Uh, it's been 30 years and I've, I've seen no one come to preach the gospel. So I'm reaching out to every person watching this live stream. Brother Hampton, you're exempt because you're already preaching the gospel. Shout out to Kingsway Street Ministry, Kingsway. Um, I'm reaching out to every person out there who is watching this live stream. The front lines need you. We need you out there. I've been to jail for preaching. A police officer came to me and told me, take down the speaker and leave. And I said, no. I said, I will not abandon my post. God called me to do this. And so the next thing you know, I find myself in handcuffs. I didn't know what I was going to do. My wife was in tears. She was crying. She's crying at the police station. The next thing you know, the police are telling her, well, we're taking you to the county jail. And all I could think of was that scripture. Blessed is he who is persecuted. And it was an honor to be in the shoes of Peter and Paul. When they said, don't preach that name. And they went ahead and preached it. And I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not going to be too long. I just want to say, don't be scared to go to jail for Jesus. Don't be scared. 
I stood out there, uh, I stood against many, many demonic spirits, all sorts, and I'm telling you right now, God even used the police to protect me. There was cops who were Christians, and they said, oh, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. I said, uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> but what happened next was they called the dispatcher, told the dispatcher, if you get any more calls, ignore them. And they protected me. So there are real police out yeah. there who are soldiers for Christ. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, no matter what situation you find yourself in, God is with you. I've had people come up to me and say, I'm going to kill you. I've had witches throw spells on me. But God was right there to see me through. Yes. No one can be against you. No one can lay a finger on you when God is with you. Never lose your faith. Never lose your faith. Please. If God is calling you to go to the front lines, we out there. I'm out there. I'm out there almost every day. Well, not right now. I'm, I'm out this line. Right? But trust God. Trust God. And um, I just would like to say a prayer real quick uh, for Pastor Sandy, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord, for giving me this opportunity to come here today and I ask you, Lord, to lay your hands on Pastor Sandy and give him every word to say. Lord, I ask you right now to lay your hands on Pastor Ben and Minister Ryan and the rest of S4C right now. Lord, I ask you to speak to our hearts and minds and instill in us right now boldness that is beyond all understanding. Lord, ignite the fire in us to go and preach the gospel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, there she go, there she go. I always want to get on TV. <laughs>